Pick this one up from Wix. 58139. Transmission filter. See how pretty and clean that one is? Pretty and clean. <laughs> Right here we're going to do the transmission filter. That's a 17 millimeter bolt. There's a washer on this side and there's a washer on the back side. I'll put a part number up to it right now, but you need two of those. And then there's a, there's a plate inside there. So you have, so you have one 10 millimeter bolt right there, one there, and one right, I don't think you can see it, one right there. Okay, then I'm going to get free and clear. So right here on top, Right here on the very top of the transmission is where you actually fill the transmission up with ATF. Uh, on most vehicles, on most J-Series Honda V6s, it does not have this system set up. The reason it is set up this way is because actually this flows back into the transmission. This goes from the transmission filter, which is right here, goes into this line, and comes back up and pours, gets dumped right back into the transmission. So this is the quickest and easiest way to fill up the transmission because I want to drain all the old fluid out as much as I can. This won't get the transmission fluid out of the torque converter, but it will get most of it out. If you want to do a really thorough job of this, you just drain it three times. Uh, you know, drain it once, run it 50 miles, drain it again, run another 50, drain it again, and then fill it up. But uh, yeah, there's going to be an O-ring in here that we're going to replace. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that we need to take off that should allow us to pop this off. Get this out of the way. This is a just a rubber line that goes to the hard line that goes back into the um, transmission filter housing. You'll see that when you get in there. Just know that you're gonna lose some transmission fluid when you do this, so just make sure you have something to catch it because when ATF spills on the concrete, it turns it basically into an ice skating rink. Video, you can see we got the uh, the feed tube back out of the uh, fill plug. Pretty easy. There's a little O-ring on the uh, fill tube that dumps back into the transmission. So I'm going to change that out. Pick that one up from from uh, Honda, but I'll put a part number up to it. So now we're going to drain the uh, transmission, and you have a plug right here. What you use is just the three-eighths part of your ratchet to get it loose. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Okay, got it loose. Let's give it a good yank. And get a pan to catch it into. I'm gonna let this drain for like 24 hours, if not longer. That's what I do with all my oil changes as well. I let it drain for as long as I can. One time I drained one for a week. That is black and nasty. Quite a bit of magnetic or quite a bit of material left on the uh, magnet for the drain plug. You can see that. So I don't think this transmission has ever been serviced. So. Good thing we're doing it now. I'm gonna put fresh ATF into this thing, change out the transmission filter. This transmission is gonna breathe a sigh of relief when I'm done with it, when we're done with it. So while we're draining the ATF down on the bottom, we're gonna change out the O-ring on this return line that goes into the top. And one thing, you can actually refill the transmission from uh, the dipstick. It's pain in the butt. That's why I like to do it from here, because you have that you have that nice open shot down into the transmission with this hole right there. So that's what I like to do. But I want to get this O-ring replaced while we're here. So very simple. It's right there where my thumb's at. So I'll just get a little 
pick tool and pull that off and then get the new one. I have the new one here in hand. Pick this up from the uh, Honda dealership. 91301-P7W-003 is the O-ring that you need. And uh, if it's available on Amazon, I'll put a link down in the description below. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just going to take this O-ring out right there at the very top. I have a pick tool that I'm going to use to get the old one off. And then um, just slide the new one back on. If you need to slide it on, if it's kind of hard to get um, up from the bottom to the top, just put some ATF, put some new automatic transmission fluid onto it and get off that way. Hopefully you guys can see this because I'm going to have my hands down here. And it make, might make it kind of difficult to see exactly what I'm doing. But let's see if I can get it here. Okay, got it off. There it is. There's the old one. Just get a new one, slide it up from the bottom, put it into place. So put some ATF onto it so it slides a little bit easier. And then uh, that will be taken care of. Okay, got the new one in my hand. Brand new. Going to come down here, pick this up again. And if you guys have done this, if you got the old one off, you know how to get the new one on. It's not hard at all. Sorry, my hand is blocking it. Just lead it up from the bottom. Quite a bit tighter fit here because the brand new one. Okay, it's on. Just make sure it's CD correctly. It's not rolled over on itself or anything. And we're good to go. Okay, now let's go to the bottom, put the drain plug back in. It's been draining for about 48 hours now. So, got a new crush washer for it, and we'll uh, close this up. Then we'll come down. We'll come here. I'll come here. We'll come here together. Fill up the uh, fill the transmission. The transmission takes 7.6 U.S. quarts. If you were to drain everything out of the transmission, that's to torque converter everything. It takes 7.6 U.S. quarts. But uh, what came out was about four quarts of automatic transmission fluid. So that's going. That's what I'm going to put in there. Maybe 4.25, just to be on the safe side because this is such a pain in the butt to access. But uh, yeah, let's get going. Okay, we're back underneath the vehicle. We're going to put the uh, drain fill plug for the transmission back into place. Got uh, So here's the old washer. Got a new one from Honda. Part number for this sucker is 90471-PX4-000. Picked up one of those. I'll put a link down in the description below if we can find it on Amazon. So this has been draining for about 48 hours. <clears throat> Always replace the washers on the transmission drain plug as well as the oil drain plug. Don't make the mistake. I, I made the mistake of never doing it. And then I had my um, threads inside the uh, oil pan just come out one day all of a sudden. And no, I didn't over torque it. I was very careful and it just came out. Bring this into place, cleaned up all the residue or metal particles that were stuck on the magnet here. And you don't have to be Superman when you do this, just snug it up. Okay, there it's tight. Now we'll go back up on top and change out the uh, transmission filter. Okay, we're going to do the uh, transmission filter. It's right here. 17, let me take this bolt out. I just did that. I actually ohmed out the grounding strap and I wasn't getting any resistance. So I'm going to just put that back. 17 millimeter on this big banjo bolt. Oh, that's pretty easy to break loose. Okay. There's that sucker. There's the other one that fell down. They're not magnetic, so you can't pick them up with a magnetic pickup tool. Boom, got it. There's the other one. So if you don't install these two crush washers, you're going to have a leak of transmission fluid, so just be careful.
all three bolts are exactly the same length. I'll get this plate out. There's probably an O-ring in there that's sealing it. I'm going to put a rag down there to catch all the transmission fluid that's about to come out. There it is. There's one of the O-rings that needs to be replaced and here's the other one that needs to be replaced. One here, one here. Here's the transmission filter. Don't think it's ever been changed. <laughs> Woo wee. It stinks. Here's part of it. There's a spring. More pieces of it. just thrashed where's the other end of this is it on the well it's right here <laughs> what I was looking at I thought it looked kind of funky but this is the actual end of the transmission filter there you go never been changed let me show you what the new one looks like pick this one up from Wix 58139 transmission filter See how pretty and clean that one is? Pretty and clean. Have you here at the bench going to go over the parts that are used in the uh, transmission filter housing? So here's your transmission filter. Here's the plug, the old plug that came out. Here's the spring that's in the, in the back. This is part of the old one, part of the old filter that came out. But here's your part number for your filter. Here is the O-ring that goes on the cap. Here's the cap. I cleaned this up. This O-ring is going to be replaced with this one right here, 91301 RAY-004. For those of you who cannot read, I'll put a link down in the description below where you can buy it on Amazon. And then um, here is the new gasket that seals up against this part of the plate. And that part number, 91302-RAY-003. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so you take your new end plug right you stick this in here and a new transmission filter okay that goes like that then you have a spring right this spring I'm, when, I, when you put this all back together you're going to take your finger I actually couldn't reach it unless I put it on my middle finger I'm going to put this on my middle finger and I'll show you when I get there but I'll put this inside the housing and this there's like three little rings or three little ridges that the spring will actually hold on to so I'll put that in first and you'll have this part goes towards the spring right and then you have your end cap and your end cap gets butted up against the rubber seal and it all sits in like this right this is how it sits inside the transmission filter housing all right so your spring your filter your rubber plug your end cap that's how you want it right there and then you have the on the banjo bolt that goes through here you have two two crush washers that are needed right there you can see the two crush washers the two crush washers are right there and the part number for that you'll need two of them dos 94109-12000 drain washer 12 millimeter i'll list all the parts that you need down in the description below but this is what you need to do to uh put everything back together so I will get the new O-ring out and put it on the end cap here because this thing was just flat and nasty. So if you want to help get this cap back in when you're reinstalling it, you could put WD-40 on it. You could put some engine oil on it. You could put some automatic transmission fluid on it just to, to help it slide into place easier. So just want to show you how it lines up. So let's put everything back together. All right, so I just looked underneath the car. And uh, I guess I should have put something down to catch all this stuff, but that is the automatic transmission fluid that came out when I popped open the uh, transmission filter housing. So just a word of caution, make sure you put something down there to catch that. Okay, let's put the spring back in first. Got the spring. 
it's sitting in place back there. Bring in the filter. Okay, bring in the cap, make sure you line it up correctly. These two go on top, this one goes down the bottom. This line was facing towards the bottom. Also you have this reference line here on the top where my thumb's at, which lines up with this right here. So we'll bring that into place. Okay, just wiggling it back and forth. Bring in my two top bolts here. You have to put some pressure on the end cap because the spring is pushing back towards you. Start all three by hand before you tighten any of them down. Doing the bottom one now, which is the most difficult. Kind of got to do it blind and with the fingertips. All right, got the cap on for the oil filter housing. How I did it, I just started the screws, pushed this in as far as I could. I had a small gap right here. I just tightened up the, the three 10 millimeter bolts until it closed up and everything's good. Now I'm gonna put the uh, banjo bolt back in. Make sure you use your two brand new crush washers from a banjo bolt here. Take the old ones off. There's one. The second one is stuck on there really good. We need to get a pair of pliers to get this thing off. Okay, let me get this, let me get this crush washer off and I'll come back. Okay, so got the banjo bolt in there, got the new crush washer in, put it through the black line. Now I got to put the other crush washer on this side towards the uh, cap. And then once you do that, you're going to have to move the black line around a little bit to get the right angle of the dangle to be able to get that banjo bolt to go in there. So only start it by hand. You'll know when the threads grab. Do not cross thread this thing. You can only imagine what kind of a hassle it would be to find. I guess Honda probably sells that cap still, but... Just don't cross thread it. Okay, now I'm getting the other washer. The one towards the cap. Okay, got that started. Okay, now I need to bring the line towards me a little bit and uh, get it started that way. So, let's see how. Okay, cool. Make sure you have both washers on. I do. The one towards the cap, the one towards the bolt, the head bolt, the bolt of the head, the head of the bolt. Bring back in my 17 millimeter and snug this puppy down. You do not have to be Superman when you do this. Just snug it. Okay, it's tight. Okay, all right, there we go. Transmission filters back in place, the housing back in place, brand new, brand new. Next thing I'll do, I've got all that taken care of, fill, fill up the uh, transmission through the hole right here, then bring in the uh, oh, grounding strap for this, clean it up a little bit on the frame of the car, clean it up a little bit on the frame of the car. I'll put 4.25 quarts of uh, Valvoline full synthetic ATF back into the transmission. This is how I'm gonna fill up the transmission. I have two skinny funnels that I'm using going down into the hole right there, top of the transmission. I had to take the plug out that the uh, line goes into because it wasn't giving me enough room to get this green funnel in there. So I popped this out. This one has a washer as well. So if you decide to pop this out, just be careful. Do not lose that washer. It took a 24 millimeter socket to get it out this big mother sucker right here pretty easy to break off some of them the ones that don't have this transmission filter and are not set up like this uh, it's a 19 I believe it's a 19 millimeter but uh, those things can be on there super tight sometimes you have to get a half inch breaker bar to break them loose to fill up your transmission so I just want to show you how I'm going to do this and then um, I'll put the uh, automatic transmission fluid in
Okay, that's how we do that. So I put four quarts in. Just use this painter's uh, tub. I got it from uh, Home Depot. So I just went to the two quarts twice. We're good to go. So let that drain for a little bit and then we'll close everything up.